Okay, so I'm still talking about terms here, but there's a special bit here. What are like terms? Now, the word like, you can think of it as meaning the same as, well, what are same terms? Okay, now like terms or same terms, use like terms because your teacher will like that if you use that. What are like terms? Now, like terms, it's very, very simple to figure out whether something is a like term or not. To be a like term, you have to have the same letter or letters, the same letter or letters, and the same power. Okay, same power. That's it. Once you know that, you can figure out whether things are like terms or not. Now, now that I know what like terms are, I'm going to spend some time, and this is something your teacher will use a lot, grouping like terms. This word, grouping them. Okay, so if you look up here, we have a bunch of terms. Now, it's no mistake that I've put a square around these ones and a circle around these ones and a dotted dotted circle around those ones because they're like terms. Let's take a look at this first one here. 2x minus 3x. Like terms. So I'm going to group them. 2x minus 3x. Grouping just means putting them together. Okay, so I've grouped those. I'm just going to put a line through them so I don't forget. Let's group some other ones. 3y, 4y. Really, it's plus 3y and plus 4y. Now, look, same letter and same power. Now, in this case, there's no power there, or more accurately, there's the power of 1, but you don't have to write that. So we've got plus 3y and plus 4y. Now we've grouped our like terms. Let's see, what else have I got here? This one. Now this one's a bit of a trick one because I said that like terms have the same letter or letters and the same power. Plus 7 minus 3. There's no letter. But no letter is still the same letter. Think about that for a second. Plus 7 minus 3. So I can group them. And then finally, there's one that can't be grouped because it's all by itself. Minus 5x squared. Now that I've grouped my like terms, I can start condensing them. Okay? Let me show you what I mean. 2x minus 3x. Now, another way to think about this x business is to think about a thing. So, Two apples minus three apples. Now this is a bad example, but we're going to use it. Two minus three is minus one. So that's going to be minus one x. I'm going to leave that there for a second. I'll come back to it. So that's those grouped. Two x minus three x is minus one x. Plus three y plus four y. So plus three plus 4, that's plus 7y, plus 7, minus 3, plus 7, minus 3, that's plus 4, and then this guy can't be grouped, so it sits on the end. That's all we can do. Now, I know some of you will look at this and you'll want a 7y plus 4 and you're going to add them together and you're going to get 11y. But you can't do that because they're not like terms. You can only add like terms. Okay, It's kind of like minus 1 apple plus 7 oranges. You can't add apples and oranges. They're different things. So that's it. That's all we can do. We're finished. We can't put the x plus the 4. We can't put the y plus the 4. We can't put the minus 1x plus the 7y because they're not like terms. Only 
like terms can be added together. Now the last thing I wanted to say here was technically here where I've written minus 1x, mathematicians are a little bit lazy. So if you've only got one of something, you don't need to write the number 1. You can just write minus x. Now minus x means the same as minus 1x and x would mean the same as 1x. So just keep that in mind. If you've only got one of something, you just need to write the letter. You don't need to write the number. Just finish that off. Okay, those are like terms and grouping them. Go and practice some.